So welcome back to another Miley Rebuild here on NBA 2K20. In today's video, we are going to be rebuilding the New York Nets. Obviously, the New York Nets. The Brooklyn Nets. Excuse me, I did a Knicks rebuild the other day. Kind of getting the two of those confused for a second. But yeah, we're doing a Brooklyn Nets rebuild today. Obviously, had probably, it's either them or the Clippers had one of the best off seasons. Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, I guess you can include DeAndre Jordan as well. All now the newest members of the Nets. Kind of just flipping the script on their franchise. I still feel super bad for D'Angelo Russell because, I mean, he kind of made this team what it is today. He kind of gave this team a chance at landing guys like Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, and they just shipped him off. Like, technically, they shipped him off. It was like a sign-and-trade kind of thing with him and KD. But, yeah, it sucks for D'Lo, but obviously we're doing the Nets today, and I'm super pumped about this. This team is obviously definitely competing right now. Uh, before I get into it, I do not play with injuries on. Kevin Durant will be playing this year. I've never played with injuries on. I'm not going to start just because KD's kind of out for maybe the majority of the year, maybe not. Uh, but yeah, super excited to use this team. Definitely look to winning. Definitely looking to win some championships. Something I don't, I don't really understand the DeAndre, DeAndre Jordan signing straight up. Like Jared Allen is not a power forward, like in any way, shape, or form. I don't know how you plan on playing these two together, but if you start DeAndre Jordan, you're not going to let Jared Allen develop. So. I, this is an unrealistic rebuild. I'm going to trade DeAndre Jordan immediately for a power forward, probably. Um, it's just kind of the way it's going to be. I mean, he's on a four-year deal. I also don't understand that. I mean, it's not for a lot of money. So, I mean, theoretically, you can move it pretty easily if you want. I just don't get why they signed. Oh, Chris Middleton. Not bad right off the bat. Uh, I just don't get the signing, to be totally honest. Um, Buddy Heald is a free agent after this year, I believe. But that actually could be a pretty interesting signing. But I do kind of want to play Karis LeVert a little bit. Uh, Boogie Cousins, the first round pick from the Mavericks, probably actually not as valuable as it says. Abaka, Dario Sarge, Stephen Adams. Okay, so I'm not seeing any like immediate power forwards here. Um, anybody here that I could like maybe realistically, not even realistically, just like try to trade for? Kuzma's probably not going to happen. Maybe like a Lowry Markinen, who does have four star in trade value. And I'll give you this Clippers first here. Uh, I definitely have some young pieces here I can give you. I can give you Theo Pinson if you want him. Yeah, no, there's just not enough players there. Your Warriors first. I mean, this is a this would be a good move for us, I would say. I'm going to do three first and then two seconds, and then I'm going to cap it. Uh, this would definitely be a good move. Okay, there you go. That's a good move to start it off because Larry Markin is definitely going to develop. I think he has some team control as well. So, starting lineup is definitely good for now. Larry Markin is a huge addition. I mean, three first-round picks is obviously not just nothing, but still not bad. Bench is super solid as well. Uh, Tariq and Prince, just like, no, I don't really want him. I'm going to trade him for a backup big man pretty much at this point. Uh, just because Joe Harris is one of the best shooters in the league, I don't want to pay Tree and Prince after this season. It doesn't really make much sense for me to keep him. So just for some sort of backup, ooh, Jordan Clarkson's nice, but just for some sort of backup big man here. Um, there's Leonard. Cody Zeller wouldn't even be that bad. Ooh, Bobby Portis. Give me some Bobby Portis. Uh, don't know if I'm going to end up bringing him back after this year, but Bobby Portis, at least for now, uh, definitely will be nice. So I think I'm probably going to leave it for now. Actually, no, no, I can trade Wilson Chow. I'm going to send Koo Roots. And um, probably Claxton and Musa to the G League. I don't even know if I'm going to have that many spots. Wilson Chandler is either going to be for a shooting guard or a power forward now. Uh, just because, again, I don't need all these small forwards. Kevin Durant. I mean, Kevin Durant can play the stretch four. But, I don't know. I kind of like him at his position right now. Jay Crowder, just for, like, good defensive purposes, definitely could be a good option there. Unless I see a better uh, option, which I'm, I'm really not. So, ooh, Jordan Bell would be nice. Forgot he signed with the Timberwolves. But, no, we're going to pick up Jay Crowder. Uh super good three and d guy um definitely going to help out this bench so now uh let me check out the g league uh see who i do have to send there if this game ever wants to load um so claxon was i believe the second for, or first pick in the second round he's going to go moose is also going to go and then can i send karoots yes i can all three of those guys will be down in the g league uh let me just reacclimate these minutes dinwiddie one of the best if not the best six man in the league 16 to portis joe harris gonna play about 14 then jay crowd is gonna get about 10 Nawab, unfortunately, will not play. Jared Allen, I want to develop. 33 here, like 34. Uh, 36 is fine there. 33, and then 36, 34. We we'll have a 34th here, and we'll give a 35th to Markkinen just because he doesn't really... Okay, it's fine. So, Kyrie Irving, Karis LeVert, our backcourt. Definitely going to be interesting to see how that goes. Kevin Durant, the biggest addition, our new starting small forward. Larry Markkinen is here, and then Jared Allen is our starting center. Bench has Spencer Dinwiddie, Bobby Portis, Joe Harris, and Jay Crowder. I definitely think this team can already compete for a championship. Definitely compete in the Eastern Conference. See you guys at the end of the first year. So we end the first year going 63-19. and 19, So a very solid first year. Giannis is your MVP. John Moran, actually, this is the first time I think I've seen him win Rookie of the Year. Uh, over Zion, but pretty cool to see. D'Angelo Russell, six-man. Kawhi, to fuck you. And Kenny Atkinson does get Coach of the Year for us. So, hey, definitely will take that. We are a one seed with 63 wins. 
standings wise best record in the nba first round we're going to be taking on actually the Knicks. good for them for making the playoffs but player stats on the year uh Kyrie Irving actually let us score and then it was KD marketing not too bad Levert Dinwiddie Bobby Portis Jared Allen I mean double double or double digit rebounds is kind of what I'm looking for from him not a big scoring guy Joe Harris what do you shoot from three uh, from three, he shot almost 43%. I mean, you can't really ask for much better than that. Jay Crowder, not bad. And then Theo Pinson, like, barely played. But first round here, we do have the Battle of New York, funny enough. Um, so good for the Knicks for being in the playoffs, honestly. I don't think really, I, I definitely didn't think they were going to be in there. I don't think many people think they will be in real life. Uh, even though they do have a lot of veterans. But we're up 3-0 on them. We end up getting the clean sweep rather quickly. Round number two here, we got a matchup of two freaks. And Giannis Antetokounmpo and Kevin Durant. I did not mean to hit simulate playoffs, meant to hit simulate round. Uh, we're one one with them right now, down two one. I would seriously, are we really gonna lose in the first round? I guess we do. I guess we're just not good enough. But yeah, we end up taking the loss in round number two to the Bucks. Giannis is obviously very good. I mean, if anybody can maybe cover him, it might be Kevin. I mean, besides Kawhi Leonard, obviously, maybe Kevin Durant. Uh, you got a Rockets Bucks finals here in year number one. Rockets up three two, close out the series in six, and James Harden. Finals MVP. All right, so, I mean, it's not like we weren't going on to another year anyways. We're obviously doing three years in this rebuild. Let's head up to staff signing. What are Kenny Atkinson's ratings? That's, like, actually pretty important. That's not bad. I think if we don't make it to the finals next year, I'll probably look to move on from him. You suck. Uh, Jacques Vaughn's not bad. That A-minus defense is kind of nice. You suck. You look like you're 12, and you suck as well. So, Randy Martin, of course, is no A trainer here, just when I need him. It's cool, though. Uh, assistant GM will go Owen Masters and Logan Mills if you want to come in as well. So we're going to get all those guys after day one. Let's head up to the draft. I did trade three first-round picks. I believe two of them were actually in this year's draft. Uh, but it was like the Warriors and the Clippers, was neither of which I did not think were going to be very valuable picks. So Kuroots is up to an 80. That is good to see. Um, the only potentially possible reason I could move him would just be because Kevin Durant is our starting small forward. and He's a 96 overall. He plays the most minutes a night out of anybody. He doesn't need a backup. Just just being honest, David Nawaba is definitely going to get traded right now. If I can maybe move Nawaba, Kuroots, in like a second for a pick in this year's draft, that would definitely be something I'm interested in, just depending what number pick it is, obviously. Uh, JJ Redick would be nice for some floor spacing. Chris Paul, that's a lot of fucking money, though. Uh, Nasir Little would be nice. Again, it's kind of a lateral move. I don't need a small forward, so let me try to go out, make a manual trade if I just wanted to throw in Kuroots along with... Uh, not Joe, or Jay Crowder, along with, no, it wasn't Musa, it was Nawaba, and then I'll also give you two seconds. How high in the draft could I get? Because Kuru does have three stars. How do the Bucks have the ninth pick from the Pacers? That is just ridiculous. Um, could I maybe get five from the Cavs? And I'll keep throwing you seconds, I'll give you another second. And how about one more? They agree to that. So we just did pick up the fifth overall pick from the Cavs. I'm sure Nets fans are going to be happy to trade Kuru, but I'm sorry, it's for the benefit of this team. Uh, Levert making 16 mil. I did not know that. If I were to do this, can I get it? Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's going to happen. Kyrie's just, I mean, Kyrie's not really a shooting guard. He's not an off-ball guard, but, like, I can play him there because it's just 2K. Ben Simmons now on this team. I'm going to pick up the option pretty much on all these guys and then trade them for picks. I did just trade a lot of picks. Uh, so Bobby Portis honestly could stay and just be my backup center because I do want to roll with Jared Allen for now. Matthias Thibuel is going to be a great backup shooting guard off the bench. We do have Musa though, so oh, I feel like I want to keep one of Musa or who did I just trade? Kuroots. Garrett Temple can take a hike. Him and Theo Pinson if you guys just want to get me first round picks. Thank you, Milwaukee. Um, I don't know. I'm up in the air on which one of these guys I want to keep. I mean, Musa is 6'9", but again, I don't need a small forward. Thibuel is only 6'6". All right, what do I want to do here? I, I do need a backup power for it at some point. Am I through qualifying? Henry Ellens and not a god's chance in hell. All right, so this is free agency. We can now see what our team officially looks like. Kyrie's going to move up to that shooting guard spot. Uh, he goes up one overall. So Simmons, Kyrie, okay. Uh, KD, Markin, and then... Oh, I forgot we have Claxton. So I'm actually going to move Bobby Portis down to the backup power forward spot. And he's actually up to an 82 overall. So I don't really need to do much in free agency. I kind of just need to trade one of these two guys for a backup point guard, and then we can kind of call it a day. Um, I think I'm going to probably trade Thibuel just because, I don't know, I want to keep at least one Nets player on this team. Thibuel in a first. Uh, just looking at point guards, hopefully we get at least, ooh, I can get Kuroots back, but I mean, I don't know, maybe. DeLon Wright would be a nice option. <sighs> Reed Gay. Who are the point guards in free agency? Because I can always check that out and then trade Thibuel just for a first. 
Uh, point guard in the free agency, yeah, it's nothing great here like that I can afford. AD would have obviously been great. He has 22 offers, though. He always does, and he always goes back to the Lakers. All right. Um, if I were to do, if I move Musa up to small forward, does he go up overalls? He actually goes up three overalls. So he's an 80 right now. If I were to do Musa and then two first, I definitely can get a point guard. This is probably going to get me some better offers. I can get Karis Silver just right back. Uh, do do do. I need a point guard, people. Ooh, Nico Mannion. Or do I just bring in Chris Paul and say fuck it? You know what? Fuck it. Chris Paul, welcome to the team. That's a lot of money, but uh, it's just for one season probably. I'll see you guys at the start of the year number two. So year number two, this other rotation is going to look Ben Simmons, Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant, Larry Marketing, and Jared Allen. Now, typically when I do get Ben Simmons, I do get a little bit nervous about having him start at point guard just because that does limit our floor stretch a little bit. But Larry Markkinen is a super solid stretch four. He can shoot the three. He can shoot the mid-range. I'm really not worried about it. I know some people were commenting that uh, below. I'm fine with it, especially because it is 2K. But I ha I do realize I've been getting Ben Simmons a lot. I'll take a multi-video break from getting him after this. Uh, bench has Chris Paul. Um, that's always awesome. Bobby Portis, Matthias Thibault, and Nicholas Klax. I mean, these two aren't the highest overalls, but they're barely playing. Chris Paul going to be a pretty good backup for us. So this team definitely should be winning a championship. Definitely should be a one seed again. I'll see you guys at the end of year number two. So end of season number two, 68 and 14 is our record. So even better than last year. Anthony Davis, MVP. RJ Hampton. <clears throat> Excuse me. Chris Paul, six man of the year for us. Pretty cool to see there. I mean, six man making how much? $41 million a year? <clears throat> That's fun. I didn't realize he had a $44 million player option after this. He'll probably get traded. Kawhi, even the player of the year. Michael Porter Jr., most improved. And Kenny Atkinson, coach of the year once again. So I said it last year. Kenny Atkinson cannot take his team to the finals. Ultimately, we're probably going to move on. Because uh, this team is far and away the best team in the league. Not league leaders. Not what I meant to do. Player stats on the year. Led in scoring by Kyrie. KD, Ben Simmons, Larry Markkinen, who is a free agent. I need to resign him, him, and Jared Allen. Jared Allen lost a few boards, but, I mean, Ben Simmons, our starting point guard, is what? Like 6'10", 6'11". Sis also went to Ben Simmons. Player stats in the year. Points per game, we were first. Defensively, we were first. Mathematically, it's got to be the best differential. Like, numbers-wise, we should absolutely win the finals. Like, without a doubt, no questions asked. Uh, also, slowly realizing that because Markkinen and Jared Allen are both free agents this offseason, they're both going to probably demand close to, if not max, deals. We're going to be so far over the luxury tax if we do not trade Chris Paul's. So I'm probably going to have to do that just for two guys who, one of which hopefully is on like some sort of rookie deal. And the other one maybe making like midterm money. Like somebody like a Spencer Dinwiddie would have been great. But I don't know if I'll trade for him back. Here's what it is though. Alright, we're here against the Hawks. We're probably going to go to the NBA Finals. It's Houston and Memphis over there. That's weird. We've been sweeping our way through. Is Memphis? Wow. We're taking on Memphis here in the NBA Finals. Uh, wow. Did not think they would be here that quick. Grizzlies, Jaron Jackson Jr., Morant, they had Deontay Murray. It's a great addition. James Wiseman they drafted. All right. Um, I think we're going to probably win this series. I'd like to get some gameplay with it. So might as well hop in. We're here in Memphis, kind of not blowing them out of the water, but we're beating them pretty well right now. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the game. Alrighty, so I think this one is pretty much closed out, but still we'll get some gameplay. Chris Paul is in at the moment. Probably going to – I just put our starters in uh, just because I do want to get Jared Allen back in the game. <clears throat> See what we can do there. Chris Paul's on John Morant. Chris Paul, 10 points, 8 assists. Not bad for being a six-man playing like 25 minutes a night and having to get guarded by John Morant. No way Ante Z is just hitting a three. Thank you very much. Um, all right, Ben Simmons in here at the point guard spot. It's kind of going to be... Seriously? Jonas Valanciunas just picked me off. Are you kidding me? That's just ridiculous. I had Markin in streaking, too. Like, totally had him wide open, but... Couldn't capitalize. It's, it's an 11-point game. It's a 9-point game, Massa. Uh, pro... It's a seven-point game. God damn it. Okay. I need to focus. I need to focus. This one definitely is not over. Oh, my God. Jared Allen fouled out. Claxton, I guess, is going to come in. I just want another big man in here because this lineup is just strip. Too small. KD is going to go up for the slam. Only have 19 points tonight. Not really sure how I got that one through. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what Claxton can do. I've really never used him. I also don't really ever get to use Kevin Durant or Kyrie in this game. So, do want to capitalize on that. Uh, Kyrie over here. I'm obviously still not the biggest fan of Kyrie being a Celtics fan, but it happens. Moved on. Kemba Walker, new addition in Boston, but we're not talking about that right now. All right, let's use KD a little bit. Just going to drive past Ante Z. Just go up and get the contact. No foul, but consistent finisher. I'll take 21 points on the night, 8 points in the paint for KD. Uh, Chris Paul, if we can just play some good defense right now, you're obviously one of the better defensive guards in the league. I would still say that, honestly, even... 
with kind of how he's kind of fallen off a little bit. I don't even think it's the fact that Chris Paul is like bad, good block, Katie. That Chris Paul is like bad. I would say it's more just how much he's getting paid and how much he's just not worth that much money, which is kind of like the ridiculous thing that like people are kind of blowing it out of the water that Chris Paul just like snap of a hat just turned terrible. And I think it's a mixture of him playing with James Harden. I honestly think he's going to be a lot better in Oklahoma City if he does end up staying. I did see the rumors about the Miami Heat trying to trade for him. I hope if they do, that doesn't turn into the same situation they had um, in Houston with Chris Paul, or excuse me, with James Harden that happens with potentially Jimmy Butler. He's, Chris Paul is going to get fouled and go to the free throw line. I don't know. That's just my thoughts on CP3. I'll see you guys the finals MVP. So there's a bunch of different guys who finals MVP could go to. If I'm going to guess, I'm going to say Kevin Durant. Yes, it is Kevin Durant. 20 and a half points, six and a half boards, five and a half assists, almost no steals. And no block, well, half a block, but still. Happy to get a championship done. Obviously looking for the repeat now. Going to try to do that without losing anybody. Uh, well, besides Chris Paul, because that's probably going to happen. Kenny Atkinson just won us a championship. I have no reason not to bring him back. He does want to come here. Assistant coach. Um... Otis Newman has all B pluses. I can live with that. Uh, is there an A trainer still here? There's not. I lost out on that, so I'm, that's just me being dumb. Let's head up to the draft now. See what we can work with here. Uh, probably not going to draft anybody. We do have the 30th pick and, yeah, just a future pick. Can I just... God damn it. All right, so Chris Paul is technically not under contract at the moment. He will be, though. I'm just going to let the game draft two guys for me. We can see who they draft, neither of which will probably end up being on the team. You're actually, you're a 72. I'll take you. You're a 72 as well. Actually, good pick in CPU. So Chris Paul, I mean, there was no doubt he was going to accept that $40 million option. I would say we're pretty much already close to, if not over, the luxury tax. And I still have to re-sign Larry Markkinen and um, Jared Allen. So unfortunately, Chris Paul is going to go. Um, 36 years old. Like, this is probably the trade I'm going to end up doing. Just because it's going to save me so much money. Or maybe like Kobe White. Sexton's here as well. All right, uh, definitely getting some offers here that I wouldn't mind. Um, this one's not even that bad. McCollum straight up. I don't know. Uh, I think I'm gonna take Kobe White and Eric Gordon though. Uh, Eric Gordon won't be here. I'm gonna probably trade him either for a pick or just something. Just I just don't need him uh, on this team. Just for future first from Philadelphia is fine because we just literally saved forty million dollars and I need that money for. These two, obviously, who I do want to bring back. I could look to maybe get a new starting center, move Jared Allen to the bench, but I don't know. I feel like that's just kind of too obvious, and I just do that too much. So we're going to keep Allen. Uh, we're going to roll with him. Marketing is going to probably accept another offer. I'm going to go ahead and match that. Right now, oh, Bobby Portis is a free agent. Shit, I do want to bring him back. I didn't realize that. It's going to probably say he's going to sign with another team. If It's going to probably glitch and let me have him back, but if for some reason it doesn't, I'm going to put him back on a team. Clearly match the contract here. Never mind, they fixed that. They patched that a little bit. So, we're good there. Uh, we should have bird rights on Portis. I guess we just don't. That's cool as well with me. Uh, I'm going to bring both of these guys back. I just don't have bird rights on Bobby Portis, so I'm just straight up going to renounce him. Uh, kind of sucks, to be honest, but it is what it is. Jared Allen's going to get his qualifying. I'm honestly fine with it. I'm not trading him anyway. So, one, two, um, three, four, five, six. Okay. Claxton I can stay with. Um, I think I'm probably going to go try to sign somebody and then maybe look to... Oh. Does he want to come back on that deal? Yeah, no. He goes back to the Bulls, actually, funny enough. Um, I'm just going to go sign Gorgie Jang. I can give him 11 and a half mil if he wants to come here. He's getting traded anyways. It's not a big deal. Gorgie Jang, welcome to the team. I'm going to trade you. Uh, we'll trade this guy, Gorgie Jang, in a first. Give me back a power forward, please. This guy have any trade value? Wow, he actually has two stars. Derek Favors, kind of like a lateral move, to be honest. Ooh, Danilo Gallinari and Nasir Little. Um, No, nah, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to go out and take um Derek Favors. We're also going to pick up Hernan Gomez. Maybe now I can get a better backup starting center. How? What was Hernan Gomez's overall? Uh, he's a 79. If I did him and Claxton in the first, can I get a better backup center? I mean, I have the assets. I can't take him with me. Fuck it. Draymond Green, welcome to the team. All right, I'm making a lot of moves right now. Uh, does Derek Favors overall get fucked if you move him to center? It honestly might. Yeah, he goes down to an 80. God, that's annoying. It's like he can play center. He's, the dude's 6'10". I think he played center for the Jazz when marketing. Wow, Tobias Harris not marketing. When Gobert was out. Damn. Okay, we actually are getting some good-ass offers here. I just need a center. Um... Can I, how hard can I finesse this game right now? Like, if I pick up Tobias Harris, move him down to small forward, 
He goes up to an 88. Tobias Harris in a first. Who are my starting center options? I can just like keep kind of going. I mean, I'm running out of picks, so it's obviously not going to be that easy. Well, it works for me. Uh, Clint Capella is not going to... St Actually, I get Clint Capella way too much. I'm not getting Clint Capella. I, I have been getting him a disgusting amount of times. So if this game could just not freeze, we'll do Clint Capella first and then whoever this dude is that I drafted. Just give me like... One little Carter Jr. is probably who I'm going to go with. You know what? Give me Boogie. Boogie's fine. We're all set. I'll see you guys at the start of the third and final season. So third and final year here. This is going to be the starting lineup. Same as last year. Ben Simmons, Kyrie Irving, Kevin Durant, Larry Markin, and Jarrett Allen. Bench, I would honestly say, has improved. Uh, we did lose Chris Paul, who was like an 87 overall. But picking up a nice young point guard in Kobe White. Probably going to be at least an 87 overall by the end of this video. And then we made great additions in Draymond Green. His overall did decline a little bit. But like he's still going to be a great defensive piece. Boogie's kind of on the backside of his career, but again, super solid center still. And then Matthias Thibault has progressed all the way up to an 82. We're obviously looking to repeat here. Hopefully we can do it. I'll see you guys at the end of the third and final season. So to end season number three here, the third and final year, we have the best record in NBA history, 75-7. and seven. Funny enough, Ben Simmons does win MVP. If he had .9 more rebounds, .7 more assists, would have averaged a triple-double. Cade Cunningham, Rook of the Year, DeMar DeRozan, six man. AD, Defensive Player of the Year, Nicholas Claxton, most improved. That sucks right after we trade him, but I'm fine with it because we go 75-7. and seven. Kenny Atkinson is your coach of the year. So, far and away, I mean, we're obviously going to be power rankings number one. League standings number one. I mean, it's just, it's not even really that close. Player stats in the year led in scoring. KD, Kyrie, Simmons, Markkinen, Kobe White. Markkinen's up to 91. Pretty cool there. Boogie. Jared Allen still only an 85, but honestly, I'm okay with it the way this team has been playing. Uh, rebounds did go to Jared Allen, and assist was Ben Simmons. So first round, we got the Cavs. I'm kind of just assuming we're going to run through everybody in the East. Maybe have a little bit of competition in the West, ultimately depending who does get there. Clippers aren't even in the playoffs, though. I don't know what's going on with this game. Maybe they lost Kawhi and Paul George and just didn't even realize it. We end up sweeping the Cavs in round number one. We got Philly here in round number two. That's not an easy matchup, but I would say... We're probably still going to take them home. I mean, we took Ben Simmons from them. Joel Embiid's probably still dominating. Al Horford's probably regressed, if not already, on a different team. We end up winning in six. Would have liked to have been a little bit easier, but still cannot complain. Hawks here in the East Finals up 3-1, close them 5. NBA Finals time. We're going to be taking on the Los Angeles Lakers. This is a very interesting matchup. Kevin Durant against LeBron James. I'm going the wrong way, of course. Hardcore dyslexia. Um, it's a joke. Um, yeah, this is a good team. I mean, it's kind of just these three right here in Davis, LeBron, and Kuzma. I still think we're going to win. Um, probably going to come close to a sweep, if not sweep. And yeah, we do. Ben Simmons finals MVP. So yeah, that was a Nets rebuild. That one uh, ended up coming out pretty fun. I think that team was pretty cool. Uh, also, if you guys are still sticking with me right here, just want to let you know, I have a fun video coming out on Thursday. So if you guys have any guesses for what that means, whenever I say kind of a fun video, it kind of only means one thing. But if you guys want to guess, let me know down below in the comment section. Let me know. Let me know your guess. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. If you guys didn't already, also go follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description to that as well. So let me think. What else do we have to talk about? Uh, video on Thursday is already planned, so I already know what team I'm doing for that. I'm doing a Nuggets rebuild, just to let you guys know. And then... Let, just let me know any other teams. If you see a team you want to see, let me know. Uh, thank you to everybody who's been commenting challenges. I can probably start doing challenges if you want me to see them. I kind of wanted to get all 30 teams out of the way before doing challenges. But if you guys want to see those before I do, if you want to see something else besides a normal rebuild, keep them comments coming. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys. Catch you guys all in the next one.